we have x lookup yeah these are the lookup formulas which we need to understand and we are very lucky if you are using microsoft excel 2021 they have already incorporated the x lookup 2016 they don't have the x lookup so it was the only the 365 which had the v lookup but for now you can get the hex lookup So each time now you select this one, you will be able to see the name here, e-data, e-data. Another one is, um, another one is naming like, yeah, we can use that one. We will see if you want to name it again, another one. So you say now here, let's start the VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP. The lookup array is the, what are you looking at? That is our lookup value. So our lookup value, we need product. That is our lookup value, comma. The table array. The table array is our range, which already to measure name, e data, which is this one, not e date. So you must be keen. So if I select that, you can see, they will select my data. And then here you put a comma. 
So once you put a comma, they will ask you for the column index, <coughs> the column index number. Sorry, 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 sorry. They will ask you for the column, the column number. So our column number, we need the unit price. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our un our column index is number seven. the headings we need to left the headings so here now i will come and change the unit price is not number seven instead it is number six here so i will put six and i can get the unit price of of quack um, or this product is 1.14.5 uh, you can see here it is 14.5 so once you get for that you just drop for the others and you will be able to get here even though there might be different uh, unit 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 uh, cost for that product, Unimesema, or it is the same. Yeah, okay. actually it is the same. You can see for sunshine we have eight. Sunshine we have eight. Another one we have another eight here. We have another eight here. So they are all the same. Eh? They are all the.
convert this data in a different way. We uh, you can see we cannot use this one and get for horizontal. We have to rearrange this data. Who can help us to figure out how we can uh, rearrange this data? Because we need to change the units. We need to to get this one in the. We need to rearrange this one. For us, you cannot use edge lookup if we have not rearranged this data. So how can we do it? We can have a new space here, which is, uh, we have how many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So at least nine spaces. Uh, copy paste transpose. Yes. We use a transpose. We use a transpose. So we will do this one. Uh, copy this. Uh, can we do? Is it possible to do the transpose of all of it? Of uh, let's try to get this control C, and then uh, come. Kwanza i nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, in a fika. So let's do this. Control C. Come here. Let's try to do the transpose. Which if we, if it we are checking whether it is a, it will pick the whole value. But if it's not, we will have to 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 get it separately. So I will click Control Alt V. Let's get using the VLOOKUP first, which we want to see so that we can confirm the values. So we set for VLOOKUP, we say equals to the uh, VLOOKUP. Our look, our lookup value, it is in K, K13, uh, comma. Our data, you say it, we started from this. Uh, control shift page down. We say to use column six. And then we say it, you can put zero or false. Close the bracket, hit the enter. You get, uh, is it that went? Is this correct? What you require? You talked about a data. Yes. You talked about e data or? Now, to leave to me e data, but e data equal me pick. Um. Yeah. So e, I think I'm around of the reason why we're getting 15. So let's drag it here. Yeah, the reason why we are getting 15 here, I'm around.
exact as zero or exact. This one, put exact E. The reason why we we didn't uh, get exactly 14 for the other one, to like a zero. Hit the enter. You can see it is ask, it is saying that not available, which is giving us the same challenge we had faced with the VLOOKUP. So which means we can start with the product here. Also, we don't need to select up to the dates. So we can't put instead of um yeah, we can say we can also change this one and start here. Let's start here. Control shift page left. Hit the enter. Now we are getting uh 621. Mm -hmm. Six, which means we have to put here to be six. We change that one to six, and you can see we are getting 15. Scroll it down. This one we are not now getting that one. So you can see if you move your cursor, your formula is moving. Your formula How is you moving. Get... That's why we are getting not available. You can see our formula is moving. It, it should be constant there. So which formula are we going to use here? Or what do we do? What do we need to do here? How did you get 61 from 215? Yes. How did you change 61 to 15? Uh, I changed 621 to 15 just by uh, changing the, the row index. The other one was 7 here. Yeah. If you put a 7, you will get the sales instead of unit, but you want the unit, the cost per unit. So the cost per unit, we started from this. So if you count from the product, it will be 1, row 1, mm -hmm. row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5, row 6. So I will change it here and put the row 6 here hit the enter so I get my 15. So it is recording. So now <clears throat> we need the hex lookup, which is still this. And then um, now the hex lookup is very simple. Hex lookup is very simple. Me, I always work with hex lookup. I left V lookup long time ago. I left the H lookup and V lookup long time ago. So in this case, what do we need? We need the product. So you only need to come here, select that column, and then rename it the, that column to product. You'll come here, say product, product, and then hit the enter button. We have already named that column. We need, what do we need? We need the, uh, the unit price, the cost per unit. I will select that column, rename my data here under the name box, uh, write the cost per, but don't space cost per unit, cost per 
per unit. Don't space. Or you can write CU. CU will represent the cost per unit. I don't know if you can use the slash. They can't enable it, but just write CU and let it the enter pattern. We only need those two. We only need those two. And then, so once you come here, do we need to say the data? And we will see if we need to rename our data. So I will come here, say equals to the hex x lookup, x lookup, and that they will ask me the lookup value, which is still the same. The lookup array, the lookup array, I will just write product. I have name product is this one. So the one without a formula. If you look at the one with icon boxes, that is your name box. So click that product, comma. What do you want to return? I want to return the cost per unit, which I've already named it to CU. So I will just click CU. I get my CU here. Close the bracket. Enter. Get 15. Get 15. So which one is easier? Uh, X lookup. X lookup. So X lookup. Look yes. Look up for the lookup array for the view lookup and h lookup it's the whole data yes it's the whole data and you can see we were getting not available at at one case right at mm -hmm. one point we were getting not available and yet the formula is correct so there is no way you will not find you will not get such a uh, a kind of errors in hex lookup and you can see there is no a lot of procedure. You just need to name the column you want to return it. Then you will get that. Even though this Excel, that's why we say it. Not It is not that just you have uh, completed this advanced Excel course. You stop there. No. The Microsoft Excel, they keep on. They keep on inventing new formulas, which they also do the same function. So you also, you... You must also be doing a research on a daily basis to know which formula in a meletwa na in a faction aj. use the original yeah data. this one the, that is the now limitation of digit they must be the same this one is capital is it capital or the small letters so they must be the same they must be the same so that's all you have know, to pair the hashtag value maybe we go stop at um No patakuna I echo the same. Mm. 
so the database is the range which to me here your range the database and then criteria the criteria is the one to which contain that taunt so there is no match function that's why we are getting hashtag value the formula is okay but you are getting the hashtag value so maybe you can't do the research at um, at your own and to get to see how we use this the get but the now this one it is very simple but it also it has its own limitation you must have all the product and the names here being on the same being on the same so that's how to use the vlookup the h lookup and then um so our lookup is equal iso so is there any uh so if you want now to get other unit maybe you want to get uh you want to get the sales here or the cost of sales but now remember h lookup will not do the summation so it's only work it's easy all lookups it's only work when you are what you have the unique characters you have the unique unique characters unique characters unique characters that's why utapata the cost price here are the unique the cost price are the unique we don't know whether the selling price are also unique these are the total sales let's try to see the selling price if it is the same i will take the total sales the total sales we divide by the number of units we don't know if it is the same with all the product let's see uh 19 19 it is for palm is it the same here 19 also it is smith 19 smith you can see so it will not work with that smith here you can see the we have uh, it is not matching in the, another one we have 7 27 here another one we have 19 so it will pick maybe first of it or we have another one here 27 or smith in 27 no we have another 19 here so it will not work very well with that this kind of data because they are they are not the same smith you can see we have 19 here we have 23 here so the excel will pick the one in a kumbuka to pekake you can't uh, copy the formula try to use the selling price here and copy the formula control c control v <laughs> change the uh, we have to lock to this with our lock to that f4 Ah, uh, me lock zot. I have to lock just this range. F4. Enter. Control C. Copy the formula. Oh, this one should also be constant. Uh, not constant, but if you drag it down, what we should be uh, the rows should be uh, moving, but the column should be the same. So we said you need to start with one dollar at the beginning. Enter control C paste here. Now you can see it is okay. So the, the, the cost, the, the selling price, it is in number number seven in this case, column seven. So put column seven here. You get your price 27. Drag it down not. So you can see. Huh? let's see the the product quantity 27 quantity 27 another year 27 oh sunshine it is 19 sunshine another one it is 19 god 27 so i think it is okay for the product there is no they are also unique so you can see this is the selling price per unit so this is the selling price per per unit this is the selling price per unit. Maybe you are analyzing for profit per unit. So you will get here. You can now get your the CM or the contribution margin per unit, which will be the cost, the selling price minus the variable cost. So this is the unit per or the profit margin per unit. So this is the profit margin per unit. So you can see it does the same function. So if you want to use again the H lookup, the V lookup, 
can still get it here. You can still get it there. So I think after that, we understand the use of VLOOKUP. We understand the use of VLOOKUP. You can also use the VLOOKUP to extract the value, which it is not, it is not in the same worksheet. It is not in the same worksheet. Maybe this data are in another number, number 10 worksheet there. So you can easily refer to that place. I don't know even where was my data. We shall lose. to select here and then I will get that product, so the unit. So in this case, I will come here, delete that one. You can say I'm getting not available and choose what is called the drop down list, which we say it. to do that, you go to data and then to do the data validation here. From the data validation, could go to the list. From the list, go to the source. From the source, I will select this data here. From here, shift control, control shift pitch down. I will select that, hit the enter. So each time I wanted to know that the unit cost per, for certain product, I will come here, select that product. If it is GUT, I will select, I will get everything here. If it is another product here, sign, uh, GUT or Sunshine, I will come here and select, I will get everything for, for Sunshine here. So you can see that VLOOKUP will enable you to extract or the purpose of it is to extract the specific item you are looking at or the specific cost you are looking at in your in your database in your database in your database a good example here you are working in a library you are a librarian and uh, if you are, if some of you have you have visited the national library which is in the at the apile you will find that you can be going all the way on the shelf looking for a certain book and you will not find. Baka unarudi kwa uh, librarian desk assistant hapo ulize hii kitabu na izapata in which shelf. So if that person have all the records, they will have all the books in their Excel sheet. They will need to have all the books in their Excel sheet and then they will know this kind of books, it is in which shelf number, it is equal which side. So that person will have only to go to Excel here and click that book. For example, and they will be able to know your book equal in which color in in which uh, shelf number flani, which room in Kosite Ghani. So it enable you to do that. A good example also is not only applicable in the search bar. A good example when we we preparing the payroll, when we preparing the payroll, we say it. I shared a sample payroll. Let me open to my. Payroll, if I still have that Excel, let me stop this.
Ouma, today you're so quiet. Are you with us? Yes, yes, I'm getting. Okay. So let's check this payroll template. You see how I used the VLOOKUP. Okay, now, this is my sample of the payroll. And in this payroll, I have my database. We have done the how to, how to do what, how to, to prepare the payroll and by using the formulas. Now, today, we want to see how to automate it so that we can have everything being filtered. In this case, I have my sample database here. This database, there is no any formula here. You can see there is no any formula. This one is just you type you this one is you update your database with your data you have so once you update your database this data all the data which is here will be filled in your current man your care sheet your uh, social uh, social health insurance fund housing levy and nssf without you typing you don't need to type in the database and then go again and type it in your uh, NSSF report or for which one do we have currently? Yes, like for this one. You don't need to be typing in your database and then come again and type in your KRA or the pay report. Why you you are using uh, or that's a double work. That is a double work. So in this case, you will use the V lookup, the H lookup, the hex lookup to get your data from the source. So you can see if I delete all these data here, the, the data which is more um, sensitive here, we are using the payroll number as our lookup value. We are using the payroll number as our lookup value, lookup value. So which means the payroll number is the key element here. So if I delete all the payroll number in my database here, I have I don't have the payroll number here. You can see. Let's check whether we will get these values in the current month and the KRA report. If I come to the current month, I don't have any value. You can see there is no any value here. It's only this one. Maybe because there is no there is a there is a limited factor here of three hundred. But the others totally Z, zero. So if I put one here in my database. I will get everything populated here. Also, if I go to the KRA report, I will get that one or the pay report that has been populated. So the only formula which I have used to link this report is the VLOOKUP. So you can say equals this plus one, drag it down. So I've used the VLOOKUP here. So you can see. I have all of my data here. So if, if you come here, I've used my VLOOKUP here. I've used my VLOOKUP there. If we go to uh, here, I've also used the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP here. I've also used the V. Uh -huh.
here. So in state is the shift number. We need the shift number, space that, then amount. So we need now to, so amount here, we need to go to the, uh, our current month. We need to go to our current month and also name that one. So you come here, uh, find out where there is a shift. Shift equal up, it is here. So you can say here, name that and say current month CM shift. So that one will stand for current month shift and then hit the enter, hit the enter. And then now you have to name your data here or we have already named this one. I think we have already named this one as the current month. Uh -huh. Or we have selected all. We select alt. You need to name your data here. The current month, let's see if we're using the VLOOKUP here. This one, yes, the current month. I think we have the current month. So let's search the current month here. If you come here, search the current month here, which is this one, they will select your entire data. So I think that is okay. So now to auto populate this one, I will just need to, to equate the numbers or you don't need even to equate. The one which will give you zero utapata auna your payroll number. So utasema, this one equals to this plus one. Then drag your formulas maybe up to that point. Where you will get zeros, you will know my, my payroll number is, is, uh, is limited up to this point. So in this case, the other one, I've used the X lookup to extract. I've used the V lookup to extract these. So for Shifa, I can use the X lookup, which is very easy. Code equals X lookup the x lookup the lookup value is this comma i'm looking from which uh, lookup array that is employee data just need to write here employee data i think we don't which which one is the, the i think the first one let's try with the first one comma we need what do we need we need the name so i just need to write the name here and then uh close the bracket hit the enter so you can see we are getting the hashtag value because maybe uh -huh, this one is not. Let's see. E database P. We select that one. You mean employee data. <clears throat> and then what about this? This one is the number. No, the return array to make a visual equal. Yako na tumia 2016. That's why you say from 2021 and 365. You say you can only get the the X lookup. So we are not using the entire data for the X lookup. We are just need the specific one. We just need the payroll number and the name. We just need the payroll number and the name. So we will not use that one. So we say equals to the um, X lookup. The lookup value is this comma. Uh, the lookup array is the payroll number to look at Manica PN, which is this one. And then comma, the lookup, the return is the name. Just write the name, close the bracket. You get your name there. So you can see you don't need, we are referencing to another worksheet. So if you label your data, you don't need to be going back to select that. So you just need to type the name, double click. You can see these are not available. These are not available. Okay. So we say it, if not available, we introduce another formula, which if not available. So you cannot escape using this formula if you are working with VLOOKUP or the HEX lookup or the SAMI function. We need to be using these or if error, those are the complementary functions. It is not that you have to use it, but it comes uh, with if you have this kind of scenario. So like for this, if we get this, we need to have something like zero so that it can enable us to add here. So you will come here, change your formula here equals if not available, if not available, we put a comma here. What do you want? Give us a zero or give us a space. If you want just an empty space, you use this one. Easy V2B. Then close the bracket. Hit the enter. 
So if you double click that, you get here empty mm -hmm. space. But if it was amount here, you if it was amount here, you will not get the, the total sum because we're gonna empty spaces here. So in in that case, uh, so it will depend when it comes to the amount, you will not need an empty space, but you will need the zero. So in that case, now I can't um I can't copy my formula here, copy that, paste here. Control C. So you can see my formula. Uh, let's uh, make this A to be constant. I will write F4 equal in answer. Enter. Uh, copy that. Paste here. You can see I'm getting the same same. So instead here I just I change to ID. Just change here to ID. Enter. Instead here just change to shift. Shift. We choose this one, hit the enter, hit the enter. You can see you are getting it that. And then to, when it comes to amount, you can paste the formula also, but this one just change instead. We don't need the pin, but uh, go to the to the current month, go to the current month here. We have said that also change uh, the, the payroll number here. You will just say here. Uh, current month, current month payroll number PN, current month payroll number, hit the enter. We have already named the, the ship, so you will come here, say, change this one to C, CMP, current month payroll number, which is this one. And then here, you change also to the current month shift, CN, CM shift, which is this one, and then hit the enter. So you can see we are getting it, but we said for amount, we need to have this. And also we need to have zero here instead of getting it empty space. We need to have the zero, hit the enter. And then from there, select all these, double click here. You get your values, you get your values, you get your values, then to get the total here get the total you can see so each time i will update uh, my payroll number number 16 assuming here uh, this guy we remove it the next month this guy left the company and we allocated this one to another person so i will put this number to number 16 number 16 so your payroll number uh sorry just don't need this uh -huh. or let's or we can put it down here so that we don't affect. So this guy left the company in the current month, in the next month, we don't have that value, which it to be in same. Let first do the values. Eh? What we can do, we can copy this one first as values. Control C, Control Alt V, get it values. So that if we change, assuming this person left the company and to, we replace that one with the payroll number, number 16, with the payroll number 16, what will happen in your database? Let's start with the ship. If you go to ship, you can see we don't have that values in number four, but we already have the values in payroll number 16. Now, are you seeing the purpose of VLOOKUP? And this X lookup, you are asked what is the purpose? Do I need to still to explain the it purpose? Mm -hmm. So if you go to the report, the current month, you must, this amount should, should tally. So instead you can link to that amount equals to the current month, go to the ship, which is this one, you equate with this. And then each time you have to subtract here, this minus, minus this. So if there's any variant, you have to go and inspect. You can see we have a variant of 315. So you have to go back to check why is it that I'm getting a variant of 15? Why is it that I'm getting the variant of 15? Do we still have time? Yes. Sir. So so if you are getting the variance of 15, we need to analyze why is it that we are getting a variance of 15. Then we introduce another function called the sum if. 
this one is very good when getting uh, or analyzing the variance. Where are we getting these variance? Where are we getting these variance, right? So maybe before I introduce that, I need uh, before we analyze the variance, the sum if it is summing, I hope that is what we are going next. We look up in text some product, some if and some if, yes, we can introduce the sum if because that one is the one which will help us here to analyze this one. So the sum if, in a summarize, you have to get the summarize unique number and that this one will to sum that one. They will sum each and every. Like, come on a repeated value here, ukona one, ukona another one here, ukona another one here. They will get the sum. The sum. So, for example, if I copy this, I will copy this payroll number here. Control C, I hope it is the value. Control V as values. And then this one, we remove the duplicates. That is the key when using the sum if function. Remove the duplicates. Now you can see we don't have the duplicates. Go to the, uh, this one is for our hours here. Go to the current month. Do the same with the current month here. We want to analyze, copy this, and then up to that point, control, control C, come to shift here, paste it here. And then also we have to paste as values, control at V, values, remove the duplicates as well. You can see we have all these numbers. So let's try to check where, where is the, the variance here. Ways our variance here. So we can say this is the shipper report and, and this one is the current month. So this is for the current month and this one is for ship. We want to analyze to see why are we getting the variance. This is not coming the same. So I will come here equals the sum if. I use the sum if and then I will it will ask me the range. So my range is this one, the column payroll number. Lock to that by pressing the F4, comma. The criteria is the payroll number. That is our criteria, comma. The sum range, the sum range is the amount here. And then put that, make sure that you locked. And then hit the enter. So we are getting the name uh, there. Drag it down what? Sum, whether we are getting this one, yes, that one. Go back to the current month equals the sum if. The sum if of the range, I will go back to here. You can to look at to me indica, the CM, CM payroll number, which is our current month, that is our range comma. The criteria is this one. And then uh, we are summing the, the range of uh, current month shift. So I will use C shift. CM ship, which is this one. That is the amount we are summing. Close the bracket, hit the enter. We're getting the same value. Put that, drag it this downward. How much? 